Good morning, crew, and happy Friday. So for today, we got uh, four blocks. The first two blocks are kind of like a part A, part B combo. So we do part A, then we do part B, then we do part A. Part A is always on the minute, just one time. Part B, everything on the 30, twice. So part A, we're gonna start off with some layer weights with those front squats sitting down back in those hips. Drive it on up, think about two to three counts down, one count up. We take it to the ground, put the weights on those hip bones. We got one count up, two counts down. Again, that goal is to feel butt in back of legs. If you're filling up in the quads, walk those feet away from that body. We then stand it on up, going into that deadlift. Shoulder blades set and back, core is tight. Hinge back in those hips. Again, feel it butt in back of leg, like you're closing a car door with that butt. After we go through that one time, we're gonna go straight into a right-sided front squat. So we're gonna have that heavier weight on this one, feet shoulder width apart. Sit down, drive it back up, again, just with that right side. We'll switch it left side, 30 seconds as well. Then we take it down to the ground. Putting that weight on the hips is an option. What we wanna focus on is that march, driving one leg up, control on that way down, trying not to swing those hips. Then we'll take it back up. Where we go into a right-sided single leg deadlift, hinging at that hip, head to heel is a straight line. Then we'll do 30 seconds on the left side. We do that combo two times through. We go back to the lighter weight, end with part A, front squat, weighted bridge, and deadlift. So crew, let's get those weights out. Keep them all by you and ready so we can do quick switches. And let's get going with that lighter front squat in three, two, and one. Take those weights up, sit down in those hips, drive up and squeeze. And keeping that chest proud, two to three counts down, one count up. Looking good, crew. 30 down, 30 to go. Come up to 15 seconds, so that way to bridge. Three, two, one, take it to the ground, put the weights on those hips, drive it up, control down. You know, we want to feel butt back of legs, so if you're feeling up on the tops where the quads are, walk those heels away from that body. I like to point my toes sky high. One count up, two counts down. Looking solid, crew. 30 down, 30 to go. Here in 15, we take it to that deadlift. Let's go to the last part of part A, deadlifts in three, two, and one. Again, shoulder blades back, hinge back in those hips, the butt back the legs as we crawl down those thighs. If you have that mirror handy or that video, make sure that spine staying nice and flat so we're not rounding those shoulders as we go. Here in 30 seconds, we'll finish part A and move straight to part B. So again, know where that heavier weight is or just keep using the weights you got. As a reminder, part B, everything's on the 30 for two rounds. We got 15. Let's get ready for that front squat on the right side in three, two, one. Have your weight here, feet a little bit wider than normal. Sit down, drive it up. Again, we wanna to try to not drop the hips to the side that's weighted. Rather keep moving straight up, straight down. In just 30 seconds on this side, then we'll do 30 on the other. We 
we switch it to that left in three, two, one. Switching that left. The weight, uh, the hand that's holding the weight, again, I'm not holding a pizza or a tray. I'm keeping that knuckle nice and flat. 15. We get that marching bridge next. The weight can be optional. In three, two, one, marching bridge. Hips stay nice and high. We're driving it up. Control it down. Alternating sides. Looking good, crew. Just 10. We go into that right side deadlift in three, two, and one. Right side deadlift, hinge at that hip. From head to heel is a straight line. Coming right back. You want to feel it on the leg that's staying down, especially with that bounce. Looking good, crew. Shoulder blades stay down back. And we get to swap sides here in three, two, one. Swapping sides. Looking good, crew. As that reminder, we're going to repeat part B one more time through. Here in 10 seconds, we start with that right side of the front squat. In three, two, one, sitting down on those hips, drive it up and squeeze. Looking good, crew. We got just 10 seconds, so we go to the left side. In three, two, one, switching sides. Again, find that control with those hips, squeezing those glutes at the top every rep. Take it down to that bridge march in three, two, one. Hips high for that bridge. Drive the knee up. Control it down. Still squeezing that core. We got just 15. We're going to take it up to that right side of the here in just a few. Three, two, one. Right side to deadlift. Shoulder blades back. Head to heel is a nice long line. Looking good. We're in that final minute of round A. And then we'll be switching around B. Or blah. Final minute of round B. We'll be switching around A at the end. Let's get ready to swap sides to finish up with. Part B in three, two, one. Left side deadlift. Hinge with those hips. Core is tight. We got just fifteen. And crew. We're going to switch it straight back into part A. So I'm going to ditch my heavyweight, grab my two lighter weights, one minute of front squats in two and one. Sit it down, drive it up again, find that tempo again. Two to three counts down, one count up. Now that we're working both legs together again with weight on both sides, it might feel a little different. So still find that control. Look 
Looking good. 30 down, 30 to go. Just 15. We got that. We're going to do bridge next. Let's get ready to take to the ground in three, two, one. Weighted bridge. Weights on those hips. One count up. Two counts down. Again, we want to feel it butt, back of legs. Squeezing at that top. Looking solid. 30 down, 30 to go. Looking good crew here in 15. We'll take to deadlifts. Let's get ready to deadlift in three, two, one. Deadlift, hinging back with those hips. Drive it on up. Looking good, crew. We got 30 down, 30 to go. Last 15 seconds. You're going to feel it butt and back legs. Good news, upper body is the next round. Could we get that break in three, two, and one? Shaking it on out. So the next block is gonna be similar, except we're doing upper body. So we'll have one minute of the bridge chest press, hip bridge, low row, and push-ups. Take um, straight into the 30 second rounds of bridge right fly, bridge left fly, plank right low row, left low row, and then range of motion push-ups. And then we'll go back to round A. So let's check out what these look like. we we'll start with that bridge chest press. Arms are bent at that 90, weights in line with that chest, hips are high. Exhale to drive up, squeeze in that chest, super slow, control down. Again, that focus is a squeeze through that chest. We then pop it up for that hip cage or low row. So core is tight, shoulder blades are back, elbows by that rib cage, nice slow, control down. One count up, two to three counts down. For those push ups, we can be on toes or on knees. That core is engaged, playing with that range of motion. When we get to round B, we can get into that heavier weight, hips are high, we have that right sided fly, keeping that arm relatively straight, in line with that chest, squeeze coming up, we'll switch it to the left side, slight bend in the elbow is appropriate as well, we then flip it over into that plank position for a low row, 30 seconds on the right, 30 on the left, holding on to that weight, drive up, control down, the goal is to not throw those hips as we go, and that takes us into that range of motion push up, where we're flat on the ground, Lift those hands, exhale, press up knees or toes. So crew, let's find those weights. Shake it loose. We start with that bridge chest press in three, two, and one minute here. Hips are high, press up, nice slow control down. Again, this is part A, so everything on the minute. Looking good. Again, you want to try to keep those weights in line with that chest. Feel the squeeze of the top. Just 30 seconds. You're going to keep those hips high, core tight. Let's get it ready. We have that bridge row, or 
Hip hinge, low row in three, two, one. Hip hinge, low row, control it down, and drive up, squeezing that upper back. Common fault here, people dropping around those shoulders, nay, nay, keeping that spine long. We're 30 down, 30 until we hit that push up, ending round A. Looking good, just 15. We get that push up in three, two, and one. Ditching those weights. Knees or toes. We get nice and low. Exhale, drive it up. Again, focus on keeping that core tight. Finding that tempo for you. Common fault here, people like to bob that chin. Nay, nay, keeping those eyes six inches in front. As a reminder, in 30 seconds, we'll be ending round A and getting into round B where everything is on the 30, starting with that bridge fly. So if you want that heavier weight, make sure it's off that side. Fifteen. Let's get ready. We flip it onto our back. We got that static bridge fly on the right. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Starting round B. Control it open. Squeeze is coming back up. Hips stay high. Core is engaged. We get a switch sides to that left. In three, two, one, left side, control open, squeeze close. This is going to take us into that plank bridge, or well, plank low row, 30 right, 30 left. We got just 15. We got that plank low row coming up. In three, two, one. I'm gonna go on my right side. Again, we can be toes or knees. Drag the weight up. Control down. Try and keep that shoulder over the wrist on the ground. Any common fault is when you lift the weight, throw in the hips to the opposing side. Nay, nay. We want to keep it tight. We get to switch sides in three, two, and one. Switching sides. Next up is going to be that range of motion push ups in 15 seconds. Let's get ready. Range of motion push ups. Knees or toes, 30 seconds in three, two, one. Flat to the ground, lift those hands, plant them, exhale to drive it. In control down, exhale lift. Again, find the knees or toes that work best for you. And in 10 seconds, we take it up into that bridge fly on the right in two, one, last time on the right. Hips are high, control that open, squeeze it close. Looking good, crew of 15, can we switch sides? We 
we switch in two, one, switch in sides. Again, control down, drive up. Plank rows are next in about 15. We're going to flip it over for that plank low row. Starting on the right in three, two, and one. Here we go. Drive up, control down. Again, knees or toes. Looking solid, 15 to a switch. We swap sides in three, two, one. Swapping sides. Got about 15. Doing on that range of motion push up for 30. And three, two, one. Range of motion push up. Flat on the ground. Lift the hands. Exhale to drive. Control and back. Here in 15. We then take it back up to part A, which is going to be that bridge, chest press. So get that lighter weight, bridge, chest press, on the minute in three, two, one, bridge, chest press. Here we go, one minute, drive up, squeeze the top, nice control down. Looking good, crew. Again, keep that tempo. We got 30 down. 30 until that hip hinge low row. Looking good, just 15. Let's get ready to stand it up. Hip hinge. Low row in three, two, one, and your back core tight. Drive up, control down. You're gonna feel that upper back squeeze together. Looking solid crew. We got just 30 seconds. Now you're going to our final round of push ups for the day. Just 15. Crew, let's get ready to reduce those weights. Going down to one minute of push ups in three, two, one, knees or toes, find that depth, drive on up. Looking solid crew. Again, if you need to quickly shake something out, feel free to do it. As always, you can keep that wider base support with those feet to help with that tension. We got just 30 seconds. Last 15. Crew, we got just three, two, 
one, shake it on loose. Whew. So, block number three, 45 seconds per exercise, three times through. Nothing too complicated there. We're gonna start off with that scorpion bridge. Option, no weights. We drive those hips up first and foremost. We're reaching over that shoulder, all the way back down. Back goes flat, throw it up, and over, all the way down. We pop it up, 45 seconds of thrusters. Load the weights in front of those shoulders. Sit it back about 60%. Exhale to explode up, locking those shoulders down back. Nice, gentle control down. Drive it up. Feel a little bit wider. Weight optional. Pause squat for 45. Again, making sure we feel those hips active the whole time. That takes us into 45 of burpees. Step or hop back. Step or hop forward. We think slow it up or go in that toe reach. So crew, let's shake it out. Find those lighter weights for that scorpion ridge. And get ready to take everything up on the 45. Three rounds in three, two, and one. Scorpion bridge. I drive my hips up, reach over, control all the way down. Looking good, crew. Keeping that drive. In 15, we're going that thrust up. Let's get ready for those thrusters in three, two, one. Load those shoulders, sit back about 60%. Explode up, nice gentle control down. Looking good, crew. Still keeping that core tight. We got 15 to that pulsing squat. Let's get ready. Sit down in those hips. Pulse it out for 45 and two and one. Again, those hips are so active. We can wiggle those toes, shift the weight back in those hips a little bit more, and just barely pulsing it. Feet wise, I like my feet just a little bit wider than normal squat. We're looking solid, crew. Here in 15, we get those burpees. Ooh. Crew, we got burpees in three, two, and one. Hitting that plank core is tight. Pop it on up and repeat. Looking solid. Remember, always feel like we hit that plank, squeeze that core, and then we can always step it or hop it forward. Looking good, we got 15. And then we're gonna repeat this whole thing for round two or three. Let's go ahead and get ready to get down. Scorpion bridge in three, two, and one. Scorpion bridge, drive up, reach over, all the way back down. Looking good, crew. Looking good, squeezing the top, control down. We get those thrusters in three, two, one, thruster. Sit back. Exhale, drive it up, control it down. Whew. 
from the Kingu crew. Looking so we got just 15. We got that squat pulse coming next. Oh yeah. In three, two, one, squat and pulse it. Again, if you want that extra weight, totally take it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna hover here. Looking good, crew. Burpee round two, coming up in about 20 seconds. Let's get ready for round two of those burpees in three, two, and one. Hit that plank, pop it on up. Looking solid, crew. We only got one more round like this. Quick little break, our core, then we're done. So let's dig into it. Fifteen. Looking good. Let's get ready. Scorpion Bridge in three, two, one. Scorpion Bridge. We drive those hips up, reach over, all the way down, switching sides. Looking good, crew. Fifteen till we get to those thrusters. In three, two, one, we got thrusters. Sit it back, explode up, control down. Looking good here, crew. Here in 10 seconds, we get that pulse and squat. In three, two, and one. Send it down. Pulse out 45. Ooh, the legs are feeling good right about now. Looking solid, keeping those shoulder blades back, chest up so you can breathe. All we got left is 45 seconds of those burpees. Then a quick little break. Cool. We got just 15. Let's get it ready. We got burpees for 45 last time in three, two, one. Here we go. Hitting that burpee. Core is nice and tight. Slowly up. Thirty down. Thirty to go. Just fifteen. Crew, we'll get that break in three, 
two, one. Catching that breather. So our last round today is gonna be for that core. 30 seconds per exercise twice through. We're gonna start off with that right side of V up. We drive it up. Knee can be bent, leg can be straight. Shoulders back, core tight. Control it down. Then we got 30 seconds on the left. Control it down. 30 seconds both. And again, we do that two times through. Let's find that spot on the ground. Shake it out. Right side to be up in three, two, one. Drive it up. Again, control down. In that goal, squeezing that core. Looking solid. We're gonna switch sides here in three, two, one. Left side. Remember if we need to, turn to more of that crunch, but we're gonna keep that body going. In 15, we go both legs. We got both legs in three, two, one, drive it up, control it down, squeeze that core. Looking solid. Coming up to 15. We're going to take that break up top if you need it. We're going to go through this combo one more time. Starting on the right side, be up, and then we'll switch it in three, two, one, right side. Looking good, crew, just 15. And we're on the left. Let's get ready to go left in three, two, one, left side. Looking good, crew. Let's keep it here. Using that core, belly button, that spine. Just a couple seconds. And then we're gonna last 30, both legs. Three, two, one. Drive it up, control it down. 30 seconds here. That core should be screaming good morning. Last 15. Can we get that brick in three, two, one. Take that breather. Whew, that was fun. Let's go ahead and shake it out. Thank you guys so much for